Ah, hi family, it's Christy with Designs for Diva. And today I have a mountain of clothes to fold up. So I thought I'd do it with you because if I was alone, if I was alone, these clothes wouldn't get folded. So these are not clothes that I just washed today. Well, actually I didn't wash clothes today. I washed clothes like two days ago. And they were sitting on the couch for those two days. And then this basket was full of clothes from the end of last week. And this basket was full of clothes from probably two weeks ago. I will wash clothes. I keep the clothes in this house clean. What I don't care for is the folding. So I said I would get some company and get these clothes folded. So I figured we do a little story time. So I hope you're ready. I want to tell you the real story about my Clayton Holmes experience. So, as I stated, I wanted to tell you the real story about my Clayton Holmes experience. Um, my husband and I originally decided to purchase a manufactured home. And I had been perusing the website Clayton Homes because it was the only manufactured home company anywhere close to us. There was a Clayton Homes in North Georgia that was somewhat close to us, maybe an hour ride. And I'm not going to call any names of where it is. You guys can figure it out for yourself. Um, but I wanted to be honest in my experience and what happened. So um, I made a phone call to the Clayton Homes and talked to a salesperson and told him what my husband and I were looking for and he um, told us that it would be best to fill out the application and we could didn't have to come in we could actually do it from home and I, I'm a personable person I like to meet the person that I'm dealing with and even if he had to send us online to um, even if we had been told to go online from there and fill out the application that was fine but I didn't want I, I kind of got the impression that okay let's see if you can get approved and, and then we can talk type deal so I, I told him it was okay to send the um, application which he sent to my email it took him two days to send it to my email um, and then when I got it, there really weren't any, any instructions. It was about 20 or so pages long. At least that's how it felt. Now, it could have been a little less, but there was a lot of paperwork to fill out. And so I sat on that paperwork for, that paperwork for, for quite some time. And my husband and I went back and forth about should we attempt to fill it out, not knowing what we're doing, or should we take a trip? And we landed on visiting um, the Clayton homes that we had been dealing with. So we set a date for ourselves and we headed up to Clayton homes. And when we got there, it was in the morning. I remember because we wanted to get up there early because I only wanted to miss a half a day of work. So we got up there and... Um, the salesperson that I had talked to, well, first of all, no one greeted us. When we came in, we could hear a salesperson speaking with someone in an office, um, but he didn't come out and acknowledge us. We sat, we sat around in the reception area for quite some time and eventually another guy came out of the back on another side of the building. And he, he said, have you been helped? And just so happened when he came out to ask us if we had been helped, 
probably two minutes before that, the guy that we heard talking in the other room kind of peeked out and said he would be with us momentarily. So we let him know that the other guy had let us know that he would be with us. And he said, okay, he asked us if we needed anything to drink. I thought that was nice. And he just told us to give him some time. We did ask him about the salesperson that I had been speaking with and they informed us that it was um, his day off. So eventually someone, I can't remember which one of them it was, gave us a key and told us that we could just walk around the lot and take a look at homes, which we were excited to do. I had been shopping online, so to speak, but my husband had never even seen the inside of one of their homes. So we looked at, we walked a lot for all oh, 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. We went in several single wides. We went in several double wides. My husband was absolutely amazed at how beautiful they were. He had not been in a trailer in years. So, so I was really excited about that because it was, he, he was, he was excited about seeing what was out there and almost in disbelief because we had never ventured to make a purchase that big and he was like, can we really do it? Can we afford it? Those homes are really amazing and you know, he really thought that they would be way more than what they were. But anyway, back to my experience. So we went back to the office, we waited some more. Finally, the person um, that the gentleman was speaking with left and he came out and we told him that we had talked to the other salesperson and had received an application, but it was really too much for us to try to figure out on our own. And we just wanted to come in and, you know, meet them and go ahead and apply. So he was happy to do that. He took us in a bigger office and he explained the process, you know, what kind of credit score you needed, what kind of, he asked us about our income, et cetera, et cetera. He pulled out a thick packet, um, same application that I had received online. And he walked us through how to fill out each page, which I was excited. He didn't leave us in a room to figure it out. He actually walked us through each page. And so we finally finished um, filling out the application. We left there feeling okay about our experience. We realized that we had come unannounced. We realized that we didn't have appointment. And the guy that I had been speaking with was off that day. I had not told him that we were coming. Um, so we were fine with that. Um, so... Long story short, they had told us that it, it could be up to a week before we heard anything. So when a couple of days passed by, we weren't alarmed that we hadn't heard from Clayton Holmes. Um, we weren't concerned at all. As a matter of fact, by the end of the week, we got a call from one of the loan companies that we had expected would review and they called to make us an offer, which we were excited about because that showed us that, you know, hey, we're getting ready to purchase this home. But he offered it to us at 30% down and he only offered us a hundred, a little over a hundred thousand with 30% down, $30,000 down. So it, that was a little frustrating that was very frustrating and I, but I told my husband there there were two or three companies that we had decided to try to get along through and we were going to wait and see what happened and so another two or three business days passed and we still had not heard from the salesperson at Clayton Homes so I gave him a call I gave him a call to say hey we got an offer and this is what they wanted, you know, and ask some questions. It took several phone calls to get him on the phone. 
when I did get him on the phone, it almost felt like I was bothering him. I was, I had a problem with him, me being the one having to call him and him not calling me. And I had an issue with how many voicemails I had to leave before I, and he never called me back. I happened to call back and get him on the phone. So the cup, I, as I, let me backtrack. I said I waited a couple more days and then I called him, but then it took me maybe two days after that to actually get him on the phone. So I called, I didn't get him. I left a voicemail. I called back, I didn't get him. Now I'm really frustrated when I do speak to him and I spoke to him maybe three times before we left that Clayton Holmes alone. He made me feel, and I can't tell you what he was feeling because there's no way for me to know what was in his head, but this is how he made me feel. He made me feel, he made me, and, and I want to be careful with my words. I don't want to accuse anyone. I, he made me feel like I wasn't the right color to deal with him. He made me feel like he didn't want to be bothered. He only, he refused to take a home. And when I say take, deliver a home past Atlanta. That he would only deliver a home in North Georgia. We specifically told them that we wanted to move to South Georgia. They, they outright refused to do that. And the first conversations, when I would get him on the phone, he would say stuff like, well, yeah, there's a lot of codes and regulations. You can't take a mobile home through Atlanta. I said, well, can't we go around Atlanta? Um, because 75, Interstate 75 goes through Atlanta, but Interstate 285 goes around Atlanta. So you don't have to go through Atlanta to get to the other side. They didn't want to do that. He never told me, he didn't outright tell me no. We finally got a uh, phone call. It took two weeks and we got a phone call from the second loan company and they offered us more than the first loan company offered us and they wanted 10% down, which was doable for us. Our, you know, credit wise, um, not having a lot of credit, never having been made, having made a big purchase. Um, we didn't have a problem with putting 10% down. In fact, that's standard. That was standard um, for people with um, either bad credit or no credit. So we were expecting that because we never, outside of our vehicles, which is a standard per purchase these days, we never made a big purchase. So we um, weren't expecting like no money down or anything like that. We were hoping for maybe 5% down, but we were okay with 10%. So anyway, I had to call him and tell him about the first loan company. I had to call him and tell him about the second loan company. Then he said, well, just find the land and, and we'll figure out what to do. And so he told us the areas that they typically delivered to. And we looked in those areas and it was, it was, it was farther away from where we live, farther north. And my mother lives south, his family lives south. And we just didn't want to go in that direction. So we finally called him and said, Hey, we found a piece of land. It was in this area. It wasn't this particular piece of land, but it was in this area. And this is really where we want to go. Can you please help us get there? He outright refused. He said, no, we can't do that. We're not going to deliver a home on the other side of Atlanta. It's just too far for our contractors to go to set up your home. It's too far for, uh, we'd have to pay extra to have them go back and forth um to get that house set up we're just not going to do it and i said well what am i supposed to do he said well you can find another clayton Holmes." that was his response his exact words i hung up i was so upset i was so upset because that wasn't professional i was so upset because here i had this approval and it just, it felt like it wasn't going to work out. And I had to really 
think about it and I had to really pray about it and I had and I didn't really share with my husband his attitude to the totally because I didn't want to get him as upset as I was. Sometimes you got to be careful what you tell your spouse, especially when you know how they'll react to certain things. So I decided to keep that to myself for the time being and to look for another Clayton home. So there were a bunch of Clayton homes all around, but I had to think like what would be closest. And I found a Clayton homes online that was two hours away. And I had been to Alabama in that direction before. And it felt closer to me than where we had gone in North Georgia um, to look at homes. So I decided to take a chance and I called that Clayton Homes. And a wonderful sales lady named Selena Lee, she's at the Clayton Homes in Opelika, Alabama, answered the phone. And I told her exactly what happened and she just couldn't stop apologizing. And she said, she just couldn't stop apologizing. And first of all, she didn't owe me an apology because it wasn't her company. It wasn't her location that did that to me. But it really made me feel good that she took the time to apologize on behalf of the company that she worked for. And she asked me where I wanted to move and I told her that I lived in North Georgia, but I wanted to move to South Georgia. And she said, oh, we just put a home in Locust Grove. Y'all, I ended up finding property in Locust Grove. Okay, so she said, we just put a home in Locust Grove, which is the city that I live in. And she said, find your property and call me back. We can get your loan transferred because we use that uh, finance company also. We can get your loan transferred to this Clayton Homes. She gave me hope, y'all. She gave me hope. So I got off the phone and I jumped on Realtor.com and I jumped on Zillow and I started looking for properties and I started showing my husband this property and that property and Clayton Homes in Opelika, Alabama, they more than made up for our first experience. Now, they did everything they were supposed to do and more. I know if you've watched my other videos, you've seen that they gave us all the furniture that was in the home when we went to go visit it. And, and, and all of the contractors that they used were absolutely amazing. And you know, it's so ironic because that first salesman was complaining about his people having to come from North Georgia, but these people came from Opelika, Alabama to South Georgia, and they continue to come anytime I call them. So I said that to say this, at times there are people that, and I love my subscribers. I love each one of you. I love the people that view my videos, but I want you to know that everybody's sometimes an experience doesn't have to deter you from the bigger picture and i hope i'm saying that right the first clayton homes didn't deter me from pursuing our dream of owning our own home we just found somebody else and we didn't wait until we went under contract with them, picked a piece of property that we didn't like, got work done on our home that wasn't up to standards. We didn't wait on those things. Here's what we did. They wouldn't deliver to where we wanted to go. We didn't like their attitude and the way they treated us. We found somebody else. If the contractors that they had sent to do the work, even one of them had done work that we didn't appreciate, we would have stopped it right then. They would have had to find somebody else or let us find our own contractors 
and they would have had to pay them, which they were more than willing to do. It's, we're just fortunate enough that every contractor they used was absolutely amazing. We were very satisfied. But here's what we did to ensure that it happened like that. We took turns. Most of the time it was my husband because his schedule was more flexible than mine. But then it was me too. We made sure that we kept in contact with the builder and with the contractor that they hired. And every worker that was out, that came out, they communicated with us beforehand. All right, we got brickwork scheduled this day. We got, uh, the house is going to be delivered that way, that day. On the day the house was delivered, they called and said, two days from that day, from this day, uh, no, the plumber's coming out tomorrow. The plumber came out the day after they delivered, came out the day after the house was delivered. The day that the plumber came out, we found out two days later that the, the trim out guys were coming and the day after that the electrical guys were coming so they communicated with us and they communicated with us because we set the standard for them to communicate with us we didn't accept what what they said and what they did we made sure that we were there and that we were satisfied with what was being done so that's my encouragement to you don't wait until the process is finished. Buying a manufactured home is a big commitment. You are making a big purchase, right? You should have everything that you want. You should be satisfied. And you don't have to wait until the end of the pro process to make a complaint or not be satisfied. You have to stop it when it's going on. If you don't like the way somebody talks to you, if you don't like the way things are going, if you're not satisfied with the house, I would have never moved into a house that I felt was cheaply made, that I felt like just wasn't up to my standards, right? And sometimes you don't know. Sometimes I, there have been people that says we moved into the house, everything was great. And then a year later, this started happening and that started happening. So I want to say this to you, to who? I want to say this to, to that person or those people that had that experience. You have a, a year or so warranty under this house. Clayton Homes, after they set up and deliver the house, is supposed to come out and do a walkthrough. When they come out and do the walkthrough, make sure you're there. Anything that you've observed, whether it's, we had some things that happened during the delivery that came loose, that screws need to be tightened or whatever. I had a list of stuff. I took them room by room and showed them every single issue that I had, no matter how big, no matter how small, that is their job right if they have an issue with that call the corporate office if they don't come out and do the walkthrough call the corporate office you don't have to go for it make sure they do what they're supposed to do unfortunately every clayton homes is not going to be like clayton homes in opelika alabama why because we're dealing with imperfect people in an imperfect world i don't have anything against that first clayton homes would I refer somebody to them? Absolutely not. Would I refer somebody to the people at Opelika? Absolutely. From Selena to Jason to David to Greg, I know these people because they took care of me and my family. That could be your experience too. But if things are not going right, do what I do. Find somebody else or stop it. Hey, this ain't going right. I'm not paying for this if it's not going to go right. So. I wanted to tell you my experience because I don't want everybody that watch my channel to think that, oh, her total, her experience was 100%. It was fake because things just don't happen that wonderful. I just don't talk about the bad things that happen because you know what? I prayed about it. It worked out for the good and I'm not worried about it. But I wanted you to know that no, everything didn't work out perfectly. Even with these good folks in Opelika, Alabama. 
things didn't happen the way they expected them to happen every day or that we expected. We had weather issues. We had all kinds of issues, right? But with patience and prayer and people that really wanted to help us and get us in the home as soon as possible, it all worked out. And so I said all of this to say, it's going to work out for you too. Those of you that are on this new journey, research, research, research beforehand. Stay on top of, of things as they happen during the process. You deserve to be satisfied. And nobody's going to make sure you're satisfied like you. So I hope you guys enjoyed my story time. I'm going to end for now. I got half of my laundry folded. I am going to sit here and finish the rest. But I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I cleaned up my office today. I'm probably going to show you a film of that before the story time. And then when I get through folding clothes, I'm going to lay it down. So I hope you guys have a good evening too. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload another video. Enjoy the rest of your evening, guys. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.